data-driven engineering starts with a foundation of basic tools to import, cleanse, modify, and export data. These seven modules start with an introduction to Python and cover the fundamentals of the language with variable types, tuples, lists, sets, and dictionaries. It explores the commonly used packages, NumPy and Pandas. This introductory series gives an understanding of the basics of Python and how to solve data-driven engineering problems. Python is a powerful, high-level, object-oriented programming language. It was created in 1991 by Guido Van Rossum and is used for a wide range of applications. Python is used by many professional software developers as well as by hobbyists and students. It is a great language for beginners as it is relatively easy to learn, yet it can be used for complex tasks. Python is a versatile programming language with relatively easy syntax. Python is a great choice for engineers because it can be used for a wide range of data-driven engineering tasks. It can be used for data analysis, numerical computation, visualization, machine learning, automation, and many other applications. Python is also open source and free, making it an ideal choice for engineers who need to work on a budget. The first step is to run Python either on a local computer or remotely with cloud computing. The exercises are available either as a Jupyter Notebook, as a .ipymb file, on GitHub, or through a link to Google Colab. The first module is Python Basics. Data-driven engineering relies on information often stored in the form of characters, such as strings, and numbers, such as integers and floating point numbers. It is essential to import, export, and get data into the correct form so that basic information can be extracted. This series includes an introduction to Python basics as foundational elements. The next module is about Python tuples. Tuples are immutable, such that they don't change, and have an efficient storage mechanism for constant sets of values. Next is the Python list. Lists are immutable sets of values where it is possible to add elements, remove elements, and sort. Next on Python sets. Sets are data structures that are similar to lists but are not sorted and have no duplicate values. Next we'll cover Python dictionaries. Dictionaries are data structures with a reference value based on a key. Finally, the last two modules are packages that can be imported into Python. The first one is NumPy. NumPy expands upon the basic Python functions to create an array. Matrix and vector operations are designed as a foundation for numerical calculations. The final module is Pandas. Pandas reads, cleanses, calculates, rearranges, and exports data. It is a library for working with data with a common high-level function that can simplify the processing steps of analytics and informatics. After this series, we're going to go on to additional series on data access, where we import data from different types of files, such as text, audio, video, database, sensors, cloud, and then also with web scraping. Next, we'll move to data transfer and talk about Modbus, MQTT, OPC UA, and WebSockets. And then finally, on to other topics such as time series, data engineering, and applications. I hope you enjoy this course on data driven engineering, and in particular, this introduction to Python as a foundation for these other activities.